Hi, this is Joel Mayer. I will show you how to make a beautiful bird feeder. To create this model of bird feeder, recycle a 2 liter milk or juice carton. The first step is to make a hole on either side of the box. You can make holes in any shape you want. The important thing is that the birds can easily access the seeds that you are going to place in the box. As you can see, I made the holes at a few inches from the bottom of the milk carton to leave enough room for the seeds. When you are satisfied with the holes, cut a wooden dowel that is longer than the width of the milk carton. The dowel will serve as a perch for the birds so that they can easily access the food. Measure where you want to insert the dowel and make a hole with small sharp scissors on each side of the box. When the holes are large enough, slide the wooden dowel through them and make sure both sides are equal. Glue the dowel in place. Put a coat of white paint on the box to hide all the writing and pictures. For birds, it doesn't make a difference if the box is painted or not, but if you spend time creating a bird feeder, why not make it pretty? In fact, I put several coats of white paint to try to get a uniform background. The bird feeder is truly a project where everyone can bring out their creativity. The bird feeder that I am creating is mostly a reaction to a long and cold winter. It's so cold that I wanted to create a spring garden on my milk carton. So I decided to paint a blue background over the white paint. When the blue paint was dry and uniform, I painted the grass on the bottom of the milk carton using a very thin brush. I painted blades of grass all around the box to about the height of the perch. Next, I decided to decorate each side of the box with different pictures. On one side, I painted a bee. I painted the head black, the body yellow and the wings white. I drew the lines on the body, the veins of the wings and the antennae with the black felt tip pen. On the second side, I painted a flower. I started to make the stem and the leaves using green. Then, I painted the petals of the flower in purple. When the purple paint was still wet, I added a little bit of pink. And I finished by putting dots of pink paint in the center of the flower using the back of my paintbrush. On the third side, I drew a butterfly. I painted the wings yellow and the body in a dark brown. I put several coats of yellow to hide the blue background. Then I put purple and pink dots on the wings and yellow dots on the body. When using the dot technique, allow enough time for the paint to dry because the dots of paint are thicker and take longer to dry. On the last side, I painted a vine with green stem and leaves. To add a little color, I painted two large red dots to represent two ladybugs. I made the red circles with the back of a brush. When the paint was dry, I represented the head and the little spots on the backs of the ladybugs with a permanent felt tip pen. When the paint is dry on all sides of the milk carton and you are satisfied with your project, Add a coat of acrylic varnish. The acrylic varnish gives a nice finish and protects the paint. Take sharp scissors and make holes in the top of the box. Pass a string through the holes to be able to hang the bird feeder from a tree branch. The last step is to fill the feeder with seeds. And now your feeder is ready to hang and feed the birds. To print the illustrated instructions for this project, click on the link below the video. If you create a bird feeder, send me pictures and I will put them on my blog.